The sequel to The Haunting of Hill House, one of my favorite shows of 2018, is coming back this fall with an entirely new haunted house called Bly Manor. Today, Vanity Fair released a slew of new information and photos which, yes, do contain hidden ghosts. So I figured, let's take a little visit to Bly Manor and figure out everything we know so far. First thing to note, the official Haunting of Hill House Twitter account has changed its name to The Haunting of Bly Manor, and it's also updated its banner with the first official post. Poster. And of course, there's a little hidden Easter egg where the account says to look beneath the surface. And if you zoom in on the water, you can make out the reflections of characters in the show. And speaking of characters, look who's made a return in this creepy basement full of dolls. You might remember actress Victoria Pedretti, who played Nell in the first season. She's back playing an entirely different character named Danny Clayton. Fun fact, her last name is an homage to Jack Clayton, the director of the 1961 film adaptation of of the Turn of the Screw. The book Bly Manor is based off. Unlike Turn of the Screw, which takes place in the late 1800s, Bly Manor is set in 1987. However, knowing how Hill House turned out, I wouldn't be surprised if the new season jumps back and forth in time. The season is also based on two other Henry James stories, The Jolly Corner and The Romance of Certain Old Clothes. The Jolly Corner is about a man who believes a ghostly alter ego is following him, while The Romance of Certain Old Clothes revolves around a chest that may or may not contain violent ghosts. And look at this, a chest in this set photo. Whether this relates to that story, we just simply don't know yet. But back to this photo of Danny Clayton. This is the basement of Bly Manor, which houses a collection of creepy ass dolls. Now, I'll give you a minute to try and find the hidden ghost in this picture. I'm not gonna lie, it took me forever and I had to zoom in. I'll also include a link to the Vanity Fair article if you wanna zoom in on a better quality photo. But before I show you where it is, there's a few things to cover. Danny here is an American tutor who has taken a job abroad looking after the Wingrave children, Miles and Flora. We don't know much about her other than she has a quote, painful past. The dolls apparently play a large role in the season. In fact, creator Mike Flanagan is quoted as saying they play a key role in understanding the mystery of Bly Manor. Whereas season one focused heavily on family, season two is about broken hearts and star-crossed romance. But like season one, one, I can't help but think the creepy walls in the back here look oddly like the moldy walls in the basement of Hell House. Now, if you haven't found the ghost, I'm going to zoom in, but it's going to be pretty blurry. Here he is. The hidden ghosts in season one were kind of a fun Easter egg that really didn't impact the story, but Flanagan says in season two, they are quote, puzzles to be solved, and that we'll find out who they are and why they're there. Now we don't really get a good look at the exterior of Bly Manor, just a little outline in the poster, but it will apparently contrast Hill House by being more welcoming in comparison to Hill House's gothic and ominous presence. In this photo, we get our first look at the manager of Bly Manor, Hannah Gross, played by Tania Miller with the two orphan Wingrave children in the background. There's not much to dissect here other than the cross necklace around Hannah's neck. She's a character taken directly from the novel who's said to be in denial about what's going on. I'm wondering how her Christian faith will reconcile the ghostly entities haunting Bly Manor. Now you might remember this guy, actor Henry Thomas, who played the patriarch of the Crane family in Hill House, also Elliot in E.T. I don't care what the president says, he's my best He'll be back playing the wealthy uncle of the orphans, but it appears he wants nothing to do with his niece and nephew and just monetarily helps them. I can't help but think he knows something more about Bly Manor and that his hesitance to visit is fueled by this knowledge. Now you might remember Oliver Jackson Cohen, the actor who played the addicted brother Luke Crane in season one. Well, he's got a totally new role playing the villain, Peter Quint. In the book, Peter is an evil spirit who comes to haunt and possess the young boy Miles. In this version, he's a business associate of the uncles who wants Bly Manor and will do anything to have it. Next, we have a look at Flora, next to the former governess, Rebecca Jessel, played by Tahira Sharif. In the books, the former governess fears she's going mad, not a good omen for Flora. This will likely provide the catalyst for Danny arriving at the manor. See here how she's holding one of Flora's handmade dolls, and I can't help but think if this is something similar to what Danny is holding in the basement. Perhaps Danny takes it upon herself to solve the mystery of this former 
her governess, a governess she is told killed herself. There's also this picture of Flora by the lake holding an even more handmade type doll. In the books, the main character believes Miss Jessel's ghost is corrupting Flora, while Peter Quint's ghost is corrupting Miles. Peter and Miss Jessel apparently had an inappropriate relationship, so maybe that had something to do with the former governess's tragic death. Moving on to the brother, Miles, and he just looks like that quintessential creepy horror movie kid, and I'm really excited to see the acting here since Mike Flanagan did an amazing job with the child actors in season one. Behind him is Danny, which hints that this is his room in Bly Manor. Here we see Mrs. Gross with the chef, Owen, but there are two things here that are just a bit weird. The car to the left is very old, not really indicative of 1987, and take a look at this obelisk in the back. These are usually found in graveyards. Now in the novella, the former governess body is buried in the Bly Manor churchyard. Could this possibly be that yard? Finally, we have actress Amelia Eve playing groundskeeper Jamie. She's described as a self-confident skeptic, but other than that, there's not much we know about her. Not pictured are Hill House Season 1, Carla Gugino and Kate Siegel. Carla will be voicing the narrator and Kate's role is still under wraps. So I hope you enjoyed this quick breakdown of the new details coming out about the show. I'm super excited and I hope you'll give this video a like and subscribe as I'll be covering everything Bly Manor. For more bad takes, follow me on Twitter at ThinkStoryYT. Until next time, remember, Daddy loves you very much.